first things first, you just came off a flight, yeah. and you're like, well, you know, what's, what's going what, on? What's going on here? Jerry Jones uh, said in his local radio show today about the the quarterback decision that there's no timetable to make it, and it just seems he was on this show last Friday. Yeah. and said that Tony Romo will do whatever's best for the team and that when he rejoins the Cowboys, he'll be with a team that's in contention. Didn't say starting for a team. Right. It I seems the, that it, the we're Cowboys softening are, a stance here. The Cowboys this, right? are, but just remember, Rich, this was, uh, I'm going to go back now, I think seven weeks. I talked to Stephen Jones. So Romo gets hurt on a Thursday night, I think in Seattle, Indeed. if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And then I talked to Stephen Jones, uh, on Sunday, and Stephen Jones said to me all the right things. This is Tony's job, everything. But at the end of the conversation, he said, now, we all know that there was this Tom Brady, Drew Bledsoe thing once, and uh, we just, you, know, you never know what might happen, but this is Tony's job. And he, was, he said all the right things, except he put in that one asterisk, and that asterisk has come to pass. Well, he, in, in a way that, look, uh, we were having our fun here on the show, Peter, during the preseason that Prescott was the 304th member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame based on the way he was playing in the preseason, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. But now that Brady-Bledsoe comparison has been realized. There's yeah. no question about it, especially since Prescott has beaten Tom Brady's record for most pass attempts without an interception to start yeah. a career. He's yeah. He won in Lambeau Field, Peter. Yeah. Is it? Could you? I That's mean, what convinced me. Plus, I mean, look, and part of this is that Aaron Rodgers is really struggling right now. But, I mean, if you brought somebody to their first football game and you just told them the rules, and at the end of the game you said, hey, who's better, that guy in white uh, who's yeah. playing quarterback for them or that number 12 for the, for the green team? Who's better? I mean, 100 out of 100 would say Prescott was better. So, I mean... It isn't, and it isn't trying to say anything. You cannot denigrate in any way, shape, or form Tony Romo. Uh, but the fact is, it's like Troy Aikman said on the broadcast, man, you don't fool with the mo kind of momentum that the Dallas Cowboys have. So, look, Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones over the next eight days or however long it's going to be before they announce it are going to say all the right things. And I think, Rich, what they're going to say a week from tomorrow is something like, uh, we want to make absolutely sure that Tony Romo was healthy and he's coming off. Uh, you know, we brought him back too soon last year mm -hmm. and we want to make absolutely sure he's healthy. And the, and then d they won't make any great pronouncement, but Dak Prescott will play against the Philadelphia Eagles and then they'll just keep going. And then, but then they keep going is that then there's two ways that Romo gets the gig back. Okay. One is that they rest the wheel away from Dak Prescott and hand it back to Romo. Which I just don't see happening. Well, and, and, and but I think that Prescott, the way he has played, that it can't even just come out after one loss, right? That he deserves even to have the step back right. the way that he's played over the first six games. That's one way. And of, of course, the other way is that, that Romo gets in there because Prescott's hurt. Yeah, but I think, Rich, that you're probably right about one game wouldn't do it, but... I also think that Jason Garrett and Scott Linehan, the offensive coordinator, if they think if there comes a point where the, uh, he gets overwhelmed mentally, which I'll tell you what, I talked to Dak Prescott Sunday night. He is not overwhelmed by anything. And Pete Thamel of Sports Illustrated wrote a really good story in the magazine this past week, and he had a great anecdote in there. Dak Prescott, after in week three, had tickets to Kanye West on a Thursday night in Dallas and he had the tickets and he really wanted to go but he said uh probably won't get home till like 12 30 1 o'clock uh I don't I don't need to be fooling with this now I can see him another time now that's pretty darn mature I think mm -hmm. you know it's, and that I and I asked him about that the other night and I basically and he said well and I mean it, it came off as a bit of a humble brag he said that's he said that's who I am and and I think that shows the kind of person and the kind of preparer I am. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.